Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Physio. In this module, I want to show you how you can change the order that shape data appears. One, in the actual shape itself, and two, in the shape data window. So I've got a organizational chart on the screen. I'm just going to drag a shape onto the screen. And you can see the shape data is displayed there in the middle of this box. If I bring a different one on, you can see it there as well. And the position, I'll just drop that onto there. That snaps under there. Now, I've edited this. I normally don't have three items on these boxes. So I've, I've actually got three items on these boxes. And sometimes um, it will say to you that you can't have too much information on there because it won't fit in. Now, to get this information, uh, change so I've got title name department what you need to do is go into the org tab and expand this box and then when you get into these options you go to fields and then you can see the information there look so block two is title and I've got name and department if I just take department off for a minute and click OK you can see that that gets rid of department and if I put that back on again see what happens here department okay tells you that that might not fit so oh, that's okay I'll just put that in there now I haven't actually got any shape data in there so if I put um, sales for this one and Saxton and title mister that'll do so there you can see mr. Saxton sales goes in there and it does fit and obviously I'd have to do that for the rest of them now this order here um, it's something that's frustrated me quite a lot in the past, but you can actually change this order so it sits how you'd expect it to be, like Mr. Saxton, sales, telephone, email, etc, etc. Now what you have to do with that is you have to change the sort order. So if I right click on this again and go into data and then define shape data, you've got a sort key there. So whatever you want to be first, so I want the title to be first, you put a one next to that. Then I want the name to come next. You put a two next to that. And then I want the department to come next. So three next, three next to that. So And then we'll go for telephone, four, and then email, five. When I click OK, that should change around like so. So we've now got it in a straightforward option there. Now, that was for the executive shape. Now, I haven't got that order set for this shape, so what's probably best to do, so you don't have to keep repeating yourself all the time, is just have a quick look at how this comes across. So that's defaulting again back to the original. So what, what I want to do is go into the document stencil. So you need to activate the developer tab and tick document stencil so it comes at the bottom there. And you basically need to whatever you've edited, so I'm going to edit this, I've edited this, I'm going to push that into there and just call it edit, so I know I've edited, edited it. So if I then bring that back on, it's in the right order that I've set, and if I bring another one back on, that's also in the right order. So this document stencil basically just lists all the um, documents, a copy of the master doc, uh, shape in, the, in this particular template but you can obviously edit it which I've just done so I've just dragged that into there um, if I bring this one on it's back as default and I don't really want the default so if you want to change all these orders and have this as a, a feature going forward I suggest that you do it in the document stencil bring your own shapes in after editing them and then just use it from the document stencil and then you get the best of both worlds so just to recap what we did there we went to organizational chart tab and we expanded to options and we changed the fields change the order so you can move these up and down if you want we've got them in there three title and block two it doesn't really give you much more options to put other things in there if i take another box it's just going to be cluttered and then to change the order of this information we basically went into right mouse click data Define shape data and set a sort key and that changed this order because if you don't know about that what you'll have to do is 
delete these and redo them in the order you want which is not great and especially if you've just added a new one it goes to the bottom but you want it to be at the top you need to use the sort key so hopefully that was of use to you uh, thank you for your time don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you on the next one bye